blurry vision. Again, blurry vision can happen from a lot of things, especially if your blood sugars are up and down all the time. You will have a blurry vision from changes in the thickness of your lens in your eye. That's very common. You're seeing because you have a, something called optic nerve. And optic nerve is a thick nerve, it's right behind your eye, goes all the way to the back of your brain to transmit those signals. But if you do not have that myelin sheet we discussed about that is intact, and if that's because of B12 deficiency, you will have visual disturbances as well. You may start developing neuropathy. Now, this is a nightmare for any diabetic. We know that because it is going to hurt you. It's not going to let you sleep. So whatever you can do to avoid a neuropathy, do it. We had a benfotiamine video, which is a great, great vitamin. Thiamine or benfotiamine, we have a link about that below. Make sure you watch that video as well. Very helpful for neuropathy. Uh, but if you have B12 deficiency, definitely you will feel it. The reason is B12 is a very important cofactor in producing a substance called myelin. Myelin is the sheet on your nerves that protects your nerves but also allows the transmission of electrical signals. So it's like you have a wire with no plastic covering on it and all the wires are exposed. What happens when that happens? You, you, you'll get electroshocked, right? And then the transmission of that electricity is not be as smooth. So our body is just like that. Our nerves are covered with a sheet. If that sheet is not right, then there will be a lot of interruptions and misfirings and so forth. So when you're B12 deficient, you may get pins and needles sensation. That's most commonly that happens in, in your feet uh, first, and it can happen in your hands as well. If you have that, definitely get your vitamin B12 checked. Now, sometimes, you know, people come to conclusion very quickly. Just because you have pins and needles in your fingers doesn't mean that you're B12 division. You have to check it because there are a lot of other reasons to get pins and needles. So always, you know, have an idea of what's going on, but do not treat yourself. Make sure you get checked because if you do not have B12 deficiency, you may be calcium deficient, you may be magnesium deficient. But you don't want to overload yourself without knowing that you're really deficient, but it's a good reason to get your B12 checked. You can have lesions on your tongue, some sort of like irritable or tender spots on your tongue. If you are experiencing that, again, I'm not saying that's always B12 deficiency, but B12 deficiency can be a reason. It could be a fungal infection. It could be any other dermatologic condition, such as lichen planus or anything like that. But if you have B12 deficiency, if you have other signs of B12 deficiency, like we discussed, this could be another one on your list. The mood disorders and depression can also happen B12. So if you go to a neurologist or a psychiatrist, two things they're going to check right away. Number one is your thyroid levels. Number two is your B12 levels. It's interesting that B12 levels can mess with your homocysteine levels and that can trigger a depressive reaction as well. Pale and jaundiced skin. So why would you look pale and jaundiced? Well, B12 is very important in actually making red blood cells. Now, red blood cells are important, why? Because they are the ones that carry oxygen to your tissues. So if you do not have enough carriers of oxygen, then you're not going to really look right. You're gonna look pale. And some of these red blood cells are also, they, they tend to die early. They look uh, a little weird, even under the microscope. They, we call them megaloblastic. They're like a little large, a little fat, and they tend to go early. Now, when that happens, when the red blood cells get destroyed, they, you know, turn into bilirubin. And bilirubin is the one that gives you this yellowish tint on your skin or your eyes. So you may have a pale and yellow looking appearance, which makes you look like sick. All right, so if they, if they are telling you that you look sick, <laughs> you better get checked that you make sure that you're not anemic, first of all, 
and then anemia can have multiple reasons iron deficiency is definitely common but b12 deficiency is something that's not commonly checked so definitely look into that your balance may not be that great so again that's more common in elderly because they already have some degeneration in their nervous system but again like we said it's all about the nerves we have the vertebra that pretty much controls our sensations of so in your for example on your feet your nerve endings at the bottom of your feet keep sending signals up to the nervous system to tell you where you are in space so some of you for example may be walking or putting your feet down you may not feel the ground or you may feel like you have gravels under your uh, feet because your nervous system is not functioning properly now that could be a direct damage from high glucose and neuropathy but if you have b12 deficiency on top of that especially if you have been on metformin for a long time definitely you will double the damage so make sure your b12 is okay if you have neuropathy weakness and fatigue again if you are not having enough red blood cells then you are not going to feel well because you're not going to have enough oxygen in your tissues and your muscles so as a result you're going to feel weak and tired now there is a common practice if you go to your primary care doctor and then you tell them you're tired they just throw b12 on you without checking anything and just they just think that oh here you go you know it will work now half the time it works why because they tell you it will work it's like a placebo effect but if your vitamin b12 levels are already like 600 800 and you start taking b12 your levels maybe actually end up being above thousand then uh, that actually has side effects then you may actually retain water it, things go the other way remember in life everything is about moderation too little or too much of anything is not going to be good for you so it's always good to get checked first before you start taking b12 you may also feel like you're short of breath and again that boils down to anemia so if you have anemia due to b12 deficiency then you will gasp for air just because your body wants that oxygen and you do not have enough hemoglobin cells or red blood cells to carry that oxygen so as a result you're gonna feel like you're short of breath so don't assume you have a lung disease you know uh, you don't assume you have b12 deficiency either but make sure your doctor includes b12 in the workup if you have that problem.